Spry about to announce these winners. Well, why why should why should he pay for everything like that? My boyfriend of two months just told me he likes wearing ladies' underwear. Uh, <laughs> this is So guys, don't waste women's time. We found out during our break that he slept with someone. Them thing they can't run, <laughs> I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. I ain't saying she a gold digger. I'm not throwing any shade here, I'm just saying, like, <laughs> facts. I'm gonna be 25, like, my ovaries aren't getting any younger, like... Jeez. Let's get into today's interview. I have, you know what, I'm gonna let my guest introduce himself. Go on. Just speak, Any, out, yeah. speak out. Yeah, Nathaniel Shalom. Mm, tell people uh, what you do. Um, I'm a singer songwriter, um, 28 from Hackney, East London. Okay. And um, yeah, just music, vibrations, just singing, rhyming, everything, man. Just And writing, as well. Yeah, yeah, definitely write everything okay. myself. Man. Guys, you wouldn't believe he's 28, he doesn't look it at all. Do you always get that? How old it? I'd say like 25. Okay. But, you know, black don't crack, so. Yeah, man. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, thank you. I thought you were going to say I look older. I know some people say they say the beard makes you look Yeah, look. I think the beard does like make you look older. I'm sure if you shaved it, you'd look even younger. Yeah. But I don't, but like, I know, but I think 28, because it's so close to 30, I just assume like yeah, people that's what look happens, quite old. That's what happens when you turn to them ages there. Like, Anything oh. past 25. I think 25 is like on the cusp. But after that, like 26, 27. You just say like, 30, innit? Yeah, yeah, it's horrible, man. Just, How old are you? I'm 24. 24. I'm going to be 25. 23. My goodness. Yeah, <laughs> young, oh, young yeah, bucks. No, yeah, young and brim, man. <laughs> but yeah, no, 28, man. Okay, and yeah. before we went on air, guys, we were just talking about him and his, like, connection to the motherland, as you call it. Yeah, Tell the people a bit about your travels, because we, we were just talking about that, and that's really yeah, interesting. Yeah. Well, I'm from Jamaica, um, both sides. Okay. But um, I've been studying my history, studying like, how he ended up in Jamaica, and that's definitely brought me to um, understand that we was taken from West Africa. Um, the slaves. So um, last summer I went to Nigeria. I went to Ghana as well, and um, beautiful experience. But I loved it. I loved it. I loved and it. And have you done like history on your own particular ancestry to find out where exactly whether it was yeah, Nigeria I, or Ghana? Yeah, 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 it was more Nigeria. I think really? It was like fifty-nine um, percent. Really? Something like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. And do yeah. you know what part of Nigeria you, it was from? Um, no, it didn't say that deep. Yeah. But um, I strongly believe Ibo. I think Ibo was at hey. the. Um, just if you look at the slave, at the slave documents, is at yeah. slave reports. It's, it's, a lot of them was Ibo. The main slaves that were taken was the Ibo tribe. So. Okay, and you went to Ibo land as well, guys. He actually went yeah. to my village. That was so crazy. Yeah, that is. Because I've never been. Wow. So tell me how my village was. How yeah, were my people? That, the village was better than Lagos for me. I loved it, man. It was just the roads are undeveloped. The everything is more natural if that makes sense. Simple life. Yeah man, and I prefer that. I prefer it just felt homely, definitely. Yeah. I loved it man, honestly. The people were more vibrant. In Lagos it's more Yeah. But in Ibosi everyone come out and greet you. Especially where probably a new face in the area. Yeah. Everyone's more welcoming and loving. It was a beautiful experience. What about the food? Food, um, how did that go down with you? For me, I'm I'm um, vegetarian but vegan, so oh. I don't eat a lot of meat anyway. Well, I don't eat meat anyway, so it was just mainly rice, um, Gary, it's just a um, simple soups without that, yeah, meat. yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, my gosh, yeah. you're vegan, yeah, yeah. yeah Why yeah. did you make that life choice? Um, for me, it happened about um, what did it say, about 2015. Wow, that was before vegan became like being vegan was like. Yeah, but then I was just cut out meat. I was, I was, but I was still eating pe like fish. I was pescatarian. But um, for me, I just felt like I was becoming. Um, I used to eat meat mad, like proper. Mm. But before I used to be proper gym mad as well. And um, you look gym, you look no, gym no, guy no, before, now. No, no, no. Before I was crazy, man. Honestly, but. Um, I used to be meat crazy, like full English in the morning. I could have full English again at midday. I could have um, jerk chicken before gym. Then after gym, I could have stew chicken. Like it was just meat, meat, meat. And I just started to become very, it just started to, um, it started to go off it, yeah. So let's talk a bit about your music. How did you get into that? What made you decide, yeah, I'm gonna be an artist? Um, I've always loved singing. 
but I only started taking it seriously in um, 2014, 15 as well. Mm. Sadly, I went through a year of like anxiety and depression. Mm. Yeah, man. So, um, um, yeah, the mind was um, mashed up, to be honest, mm. proper mashed. And music just became my outlet of like crying out and um, speaking about the situation. You know, mm. music is the greatest rehab um I can't think of the word rehabilitation yeah music is the greatest form man because you just pour out your true intentions your heart your everything if you, if it's done correctly that is anyway mm. music is the best way for rehab man, definitely mm, yeah yeah so that's what happened from then it just continued to grow and um that's it yes okay and like seriously. with your sound how much of them um, because obviously prior to going to africa yeah how much of your jamaican roots affect your sound 100 you percent, yeah definitely yeah 100 percent in the sound that's what i want to try make sure that i just encompass everything and to be fair like the way the music scene is right now i think that's naturally happening anyway like you got say for example Wizkid, but he'll be on like a he sounds kind of yeah, like dance anyway. yeah, yeah. yeah, and you might hear popcorn. And he sounds like he's on an Afro beats type, but you know, and even like you got lot of ways, and everyone's kind of doing. It's all fused together yeah, now, yeah. anyway. So it's like naturally, I've come at the right time. Come, yeah, 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 good yeah, yeah, time. Yeah. Okay, well, we're gonna be back, guys. Don't for, don't forget, we're gonna be announcing the competition winners. Nathaniel's gonna be picking, mm -hmm. um, and then we've got our agony art coming up. But I'm gonna give him a little bit of a second to kind of breathe, get into the zone. So I'm gonna play you guys some music. Obviously, send me your song request. Send me any questions you have for him. And when we come back, we're gonna talk a bit about his mixtape or his EP. Sorry, coming mm -hmm. out. Um, so get ready. Okay, so I'm gonna ask you a deeper question. Maybe, maybe you know or not. Who are the real Jews? Do you know the real Jews? I think like the black people. They're, yeah, they're, they're I Ethiopian mean, man. Yeah. Is it not? You know, like African is African Jews. You see, Ibos. Yeah, apparently we're Jews. We're the real Jews. Is it? Ibos yeah. Jews, you what? So. Wait, how? What? What? Apparently we came like light or tribe of one of the tribes of Judah. Ibo, Ibo. Um, Yoruba used to be connected as well, and um, there's an ancestor named Eri. Have you heard of Eri? No. There's a statue of him in um, Ibo still. Mm. In Bossy, yeah. But they are from the tribe of Gad. Gad is one of the 12 tribes. How, how far back are we talking? Um, the 12 tribes of Israel. They're the mm -hmm. 12 sons. Oh, yeah. yeah. It's in the Bible, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah okay. So, when, um, basically, you see when um, Jerusalem, yeah, when the Romans came, it was about 70 AD after mm -hmm. Jesus, yeah, this is when they um, slaughtered uh, Jerusalem. And there's about a million Jews mm -hmm. fled into Africa. Okay. Yeah, so we, like Ibo, Lemba, um, Ashanti, Oh, we're all the real Jews. That's wow. Literally the real Jews. Yeah, Jew stands for Yahuda, Judah, and we know King oh, David, tried, King uh, Solomon. They were, they, right, were not, yeah. they were black men. They have to think. If I can actually imagine it. If they're from Judah, they and they they're the real Jews. They're black men. Then who are these people saying that they are? Yeah. Jews? Fake ass. <laughs> you know. What, so you know what Ibo Ibo stands for. You know what Ibo come from. No. Ibo. Yeah. You got it. Ibo. So you have Ibo, mm. Hibo, Hibro, Hibro. What am I saying? I don't know, babe. <laughs> Hebrew. 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 That's what Ibo is uh, derived from. from. Hebrew, yeah. Alright, guys, we are back. We've been having a really interesting conversation, but don't worry, everything was filmed. So watch the video and find out what we were talking about. Um, Alright, so back to you and your music. You've got an EP coming out. Mm, it's out, it's out. Oh, it's out. out. Yeah, okay. it's out, yeah, yeah. So, first of all, tell the people how they can listen to that. It's on Spotify, iTunes, um, Google Play, Amazon. And yeah, what well, uh, led to that kind of the music that we can hear on that? What led to the build up of you writing that? Like, what what experiences did you go through? Because obviously, you seem like quite a you quite in touch with a lot of things that surround you. Mm -hmm. So obviously, there must have been a lot of things going on that led to the the creation yeah. of that EP. Yeah. So the first track, "Wake Up in the Morning," that's talking about like my depression, my anxiety, hearing voices. So that track is just me off offloading all that energy um track two seven tracks and then track two is called dirty stinking babylon wow that is, that's a very like yeah, yeah, <laughs> interesting yeah. title yeah man dirty stinking babylon that's just talking about the system so a lot of the thoughts that was in my mind 
when I was studying about there's so much things that's going in the world. As we see, look at Libya, for example. No? Yeah. Um, and I wrote this like two years ago, but this track typifies what's going on. Like, there's so much foolishness behind closed doors that we're being spoon fed, or they're trying to keep away from us. So, that track, that was my venting on there. Um, track three is um, Their Granddad. My granddad passed away um, 7th of April last year. So that's just me singing about how I, who he was as a man. It's quite actually an uplifting song, even though it's their granddad. It's actually like just giving thanks to who he was, what he'd done. And um, yeah, just a, a happy vibration yeah. song. Um, the fourth track, Let Me Know, that's just speaking about um, basically, it's just a house song, it's quite simple, but it's just basically saying like to the most high, um, let me know what you want me to do, innit? But you let me know like what you want me to do. It's okay, quite simple. That's deep yeah it's simple though it sounds like but it's a simple song it's, but is it kind of like a prayer in the song basically a prayer yeah. yeah but it's a house song so it's it's not like it, it sounds deep but it's not even that deep you hear it it's like <laughs> two lines just <laughs> repeated but that's what the energy is um yeah fifth song is um just speaking about love and um yeah love what we go through in love so the fifth song talking about like you know sometimes you might have a partner and um, one minute you hate them, the next minute you're in love with them, you know, so that's what relationship is, it's like a, a balance, isn't it? Yeah. You know what I mean? One minute you can't stand them, next minute you you love grab them. Yeah, 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 yeah. The sixth song is um, speaking about love, just to, like, to my missus, about like just normal love. love How long song. have you been with you? I've been with her, uh, um, I think 12 years now. So yeah, yeah. Like me. Are you? Yeah, you're married still. Oh, okay. Well, I just thought it was like girlfriend. Oh, yeah, yeah, I was yeah. about to say like. We've been married on. for two years. Oh my god. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you have kids? No, no, no. We're expecting now. Congratulations. Blessings, man. More life. Wow. We're expecting next month. No, February. Do you yeah, know boy we wait until the end, we're gonna wait. You want a surprise? Yeah. No, I'm so controlling that like, I would want to know from the moment of conception, okay, is this a boy or a girl? Let me Let's get ready. Get, yeah, a lot of people say that. Yeah, we're gonna wait and just um, be a nice little surprise, man. I'm looking forward to it. Okay, yeah, that's man. amazing. That's is she good, Jamaican man. as well? She's half Jamaican, um, she makes face half Jamaican, half Irish. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I thought local still probably or something. Like oh, okay. Yeah. And seventh song? The seventh song to the most high, man. Just a. Uh, a prayer to the Most High, just speaking about his blessings, what he does for us, um, his power, how great he is, man. Okay. Yeah. So, are you like? Do you identify as like Christian or? Um, I would more say Israelite. So, Israelite is more um, like we keep like the the feasts, keep the feast days. We uh, more we keep to like the dietary laws, so like we don't eat pork don't eat um, prawns, for example. So we're a bit more strict, I would say. So you never eat pork then? No, before I did, yeah, I used to love pork. <laughs> I used to love pork. pork, jerk pork was the one. My grandma used to make a mean jerk pork, mean jerk pork. But now, obviously, yeah, we just try to be more, just follow the laws, because we don't really believe that it's done away. We should say it's done away, but we don't believe. So we just try to be more, follow the whole Bible. Can you just explain what being like an Israelite is? Because obviously, like, <laughs> I have no, I don't say something ignorant, I have no clue, like, and I'm sorry, my list, listeners don't either. You, you're an Israelite. Am I? I'm you're Christian, Israelite. though. No, see, Christianity, Islam, for example, is a religion, like, that's, that's a faith what you adapt into, but Israelite is actually bloodline, it's who you are. Okay. So when we said you're from Ibosi, you're Ibo land. Yeah. When we said that Ibo are the original Jews, yeah. Hebrews. Yeah. So, Israelite, you're a Hebrew by who you are you're not hebrew by religion you are hebrew whether you like it or not okay Does that makes sense mm -hmm. that's what israelite is we are israelite so caribbeans they're israelites because they was they were the ones taken into yeah. slavery yeah. they're the real jews ibo ashanti um lemba tribe you're the falasha you're the ethiopians they are hebrew israelites yeah whether they like it or not so speaking on kind of like your music and um things like that who would be your ultimate like i want to i uh, work with this person like if you could pick anyone and they were like yeah call cool, you to work with this person who would you do um i could 
work with someone right now. Mm. Like, what, alive or dead, do you mean? Or Do both. Alive right now, I have to pick someone. Um, it probably would be... I think it would be Chronix, you know. Okay. Do, do you know Chronix? No. He's a Jamaican artist, but he's very conscious. Okay. But he can sing, but he can rhyme. Um, dead. No, he's alive. He's alive. No, he's like oh, dead. dead it'll, it'll probably be Bob Marley. I thought you'd say that. It'll probably be Bob Bob Marley, just for like his his music is inspiring, uplifting, energetic. Um, yeah. Um, UK. If I had to pick a UK person, um, be someone like Rich Free too, maybe. I like it. I can see I that. Think, I can see that. Yeah, I can see that. You guys are on that wavelength together. Yeah, yeah, that kind that. of conscious. Awake, but still, from the but end. still yeah, yeah, like, yeah, definitely. Yeah. I can see that. All right, guys, we're gonna have a little break and come back and pick the winners of the competition. Um, <laughs> and then listen, if you don't get picked, blame Nathaniel, it's oh, not me. Mate. He's he's gonna pick him, and I did this so that if someone I know wins, no one can come and say, Oh, I picked that person. Or, <laughs> so it's all on you, whoever you right, pick. Cool. Um, and then after that, we're going to get into those agony art questions you guys asked me. Um, but let's play some Usher for you guys. Okay, guys, we are back. It is competition time. <laughs> going to shake it all about. Make this look... Make sure they see that I didn't do any funny business. Ooh, editing. Um, <laughs> all right, about to announce these winners. Who's ready to win some glow pot goodies? Okay, so here you go. So you say you want to... Pick... Two, yeah. But pick one first. I want it to be a bit dramatic, <laughs> and then you pick the second so one. Want to do, like, pick, just them. pick a name. Okay. Yeah. Oh, that one or yeah, two? Yeah, that's one. one. I just folded it really badly. <laughs> cool. The name is. Da, da, da. I hope you can read my like handwriting. Suspense. That's suspense. The name. Let me get this on snap. The name is Yinka Ola. Okay, first winner. Woo! Cool, cool, All right, cool, 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 cool. pick the second one now. You ready? How many times do you shake? I just want to make sure it's nice and fair. Oh, who's this? Who's this? Who's this? The name is. Drum roll. Wait, that's a dead drum. <laughs> the name is Gloria. Oh, Lucy. she literally like she submitted herself in every way she could. Do. So well done to her. All right, guys, congratulations to the winners. Yeah. I will be reaching out to you via email. Um, and yeah, congratulations. Wow, this is really great. My first two competition winners of the year. Wow. You How do, do you, feel? you do a competition every... I do every... competitions Christmas, Okay. Valentine's Day, and nice. around my birthday. Okay, when's so, your birthday? 14th of June. Feel free to send me a gift. Yeah, yeah, 100. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, uh, no. <laughs> 100. Okay, um, so let's get into the Curious Cat questions. Um, guys, you know the Curious Cat is always open for you guys to send me your dilemmas and stuff like that. And we have a relationship expert with us today. He's been married Relation. for two years Relation with his expert. wife for 12, in total, right? Lessons. Yes, and he said they never broke up. They went from friendship to a relationship <laughs> in three months. <laughs> so guys, don't waste women's time. If you see a good thing, Grab make hold of happen. that and look, make it happen, innit? Yeah, for real. Make it happen because she might not be there, like. Oh, for real. Exactly, and it's sustainable. Like it's been twelve years, like it's lit. Um, so he's the expert. I'm not throwing any shady. I'm just saying like <laughs> facts. Um, okay, let's get into the first question. Yeah. So it says, "Hey, my boyfriend and I are going on our first vacation. Do you know what vacation is? Together, isn't it? That holiday together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, just generational difference. Oh, I wasn't yeah. sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. It's a three year difference. <laughs> I know, three years, you know. It's old, like three years! Old dinosaur. You're gonna be 25. Oh my god! I feel so old now. What do you mean, I said 38? No, no, no. I, you said 28, but you know, like, in my mind, I'm still 21. <laughs> wow, it's only three years. 
Oh wow. Yeah, Shit. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> a young man, young man, brim and strong man. You know? <laughs> I've got great hair, so I don't know about all that. But, um, okay. So he keeps talking about split cost and contribute. This makes no sense to me. He's the man and I feel like he should pay for the holiday and I bring some spending money. Am I wrong? I can't ask my friends because I don't want them to think my man is broke. I'm going to let you say what you think and then I'll say what I think. So you're saying... He should. He should what? He should pay. Like why? Like why is he using words like contribute and split? Like he should be the one paying for the holiday because she's a woman and he's the man. The holiday. Yeah. Why? The whole holiday. Why though? Why? Why are they going on the holiday? Why? No. Should he why? Pay? Why should? Why should he pay for everything like that? I mean, I'll let you know what I think. But what with advice would you give her? Um. Like holiday wise, it depends on depends on his um if you think that he is well off and it's not gonna affect him then maybe you might say he can pay. But I think like you she should pay her way. But mm-hmm. then obviously when it comes to like meals and when you go out and stuff, I'll always try to pay as much as I can on that front. Yeah. But flight and ticket now, that's a bit um hefty. But to be fair, when I've been away I've like paid what I can, so say she might say, Can you give me 200 pound towards the if i can whatever i can i can give yeah i'll give but obviously you can't just demand it because he might yeah. not, he might not be in that um he might not be in that position too in it yeah so you gotta you gotta have a balance and work together yeah yeah okay my opinion is women you need to stop thinking men are your fathers yeah, man. um it's not anybody's responsibility to fund any lifestyle you choose to live yeah. other than like your parents should they wish obviously when you reach a certain age you take care of your own self but yeah. like i can't imagine like going on holiday and like relationships are partnerships as yeah, well yeah, yeah, and i'm thinking that like, if i want to settle down and like maybe marry someone and things like that why would I want them to be paying for like a lavish lifestyle? My main mentality would be, okay, cool. I want you to hurry up and like, like I want us to save as much money where possible so that, you know, money can go to better things like maybe buying a house in the future, our wedding, this or the third, like all those kind of things, like rather than expecting him to cover everything. Yeah. I think it's very important for women to pay their way in yeah, relationships. Nice. Um, also, I always expect my man to kind of treat me and, treat me like a princess and all that kind of stuff but if you're going on a holiday like pay yo pay for your accommodation pay pay for your flight it's a different thing if he turns around and says oh no like don't worry but if he's saying stuff like split the cost contribute then that's not an issue as far as i'm concerned yeah, yeah, um yeah. so i think you should kind of step away from that mentality and also i also don't think if you're the kind of woman that expects a man to find your lifestyle like that's your prerogative as long as you know that you're getting the guys that can do that then you should date men that are happy with like spending like crazy amounts of money funding your lifestyle don't date a guy that maybe can't afford that or that's yeah, not the yeah, way yeah. he sees relationships so that's my advice to that lady yeah um that's good advice man i ain't saying she a gold digger <laughs> the next question is my boyfriend of two months just told me he likes wearing ladies underwear uh, <laughs> this is an interracial relationship so she's put this there he suggested we make underwear shopping a cute couples activity I can't do this Monty. he wears sexier underwear than me and sometimes he wears a bra Whoa! is this a shallow reason to break up with someone well, why am I doing <laughs> I don't know why am I doing boss? <laughs> Them thing they can't run boss. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Like that shouldn't be happening, is it? Like he's meant to be the man of the, the of the of the relationship. You know that 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 doesn't even need to be answered. I'll be honest, man. That is that is just stupidness that's going on there. I think, uh, um, obviously, considering like, the world we live in today, people do crazy. different things. I oh, know, that's the thing, yeah. You can't even, you can't even speak out against certain things. <laughs> what, happened, what happened with Jenny? Yeah. yeah, like he said he didn't want to kiss a transsexual and then suddenly like it was a huge yeah. problem. Yeah. In this situation, it's not an issue to break up with him because I think we should all know the things we can and cannot deal with. Yeah. I can't deal with my man sharing my underwear, wearing it, telling me like let's go underwear shopping personally i just can't deal with it because that's not what i want from my partner um but if you feel like that's not something you can deal with i think it's fine to 
to end it on that basis I don't think there's an issue and I also think that if you know there's something you do that could potentially affect a relationship you should disclose that prior to getting into said relationship you shouldn't get into a relationship then come and disclose that oh I like to wear women's underwear because that's a big thing it's not like a little thing to hide so I just what are you doing it? Should, to to each their this, own. In this world, yeah, you can't even say that. To each their yeah. own, but I just think you should disclose it so people are well aware of what they're getting into. Yeah. Um, so I think it's not a stupid uh, reason to break up with someone. I just think, just be sensitive when you break so up. So, but, with them. so, but, okay. So, put in your foot, your shoes now. Me, then. Your yeah. husband. Yeah, but I wouldn't. You wouldn't be my husband at that stage. You, uh, your partner, yeah. your man, comes out and says, "Yo, how I, long have we been together?" So you're putting bare different factors in it. No, because these are all factors. Like, okay, just give me the scenario. Yeah, so that scenario. Yeah. You find out, yo, he likes. To, you're coming one day, and he's wearing your your stilettos and bra, and he's Clothes, he's got yeah. your full shebangs in the mirror. Holds yeah. up. What are you doing? Yeah, I'm gonna ask him. What's good? Like, what's, are you like? Is everything? Are we good? Are you good? Like, what's what's and good? Then, and then he says to you, "This is what I like to do, and I'm not going to stop it." Then what are you doing from that? What's your answer from that? That's the thing. See, so much is dependent on how long we were together. But I need to understand the depth of it, you see. Because, like, if it's just like, okay, cool, when you're at home, sometimes you like to wear women's right. clothes. I'm not... Listen, you're it okay was, with it if he's No, no, I'm not okay with it. But if we're married, what can, like, that's my husband. I have to... I have to figure it out. But then if, like, if it's like a Caitlyn Jenner... You have to figure it out. Yeah, if, if it's like a Caitlyn Jenner, like, potentially thing in the yeah. future, like, where you're like, okay, cool, like, I like wearing women's clothes. But and that's, I feel what, like it, it's, that's what it could lead to, though, wouldn't it? Yeah, well, some people just, like, some, some straight men, like, dress up as drag queens, and that's where the buck ends for them. Like, they don't want to change, they don't want to do... They just want to dress up, put on makeup and go out. I'm not cool with that, but, like, cool, like, at least that... But if you're telling me, like, you actually want to become a woman then that's a, diff- a whole different ball game. And I'm like, I, I've got to bounce because I'm sh- I'm a straight woman. I don't want to be in a relationship with a yeah. woman. I want to be in a relationship with a man. Well, masculine. So, yeah, that's what it's masculine. Masculine, anything. Like, yeah. it, obviously, I have my preference in terms of the, the way I would want my man to carry himself. But whether you're masculine, the point of matters is I want to be with a man. man yeah. um, I didn't sign up to be with a woman. I didn't sign up to like be with. I signed up to be in a relationship with a man. So if you decide tomorrow you want to live your life as a woman, it's not going to work because of my sexuality. I'm not. Yeah. I'm not. Um. I. I'm not bisexual. I'm not pansexual. I'm like heterosexual. Yeah. So that would be an issue. But if we're talking marriage and we've been together for years and everything else is good, but at home sometimes he likes to put on heels and women's underwear. It's tough. It's not easy. It's not what I want to see. But what can I do? That's my husband. Like, I have to. We have to figure. We've taken this vow between before, like God and man. Yeah. Like I have to, like try, try my best. If I try and I really can't deal with it, then cool. Like I've tried my best. But I think the biggest no-no would be the gender change that I I couldn't do with because yeah. I'm not that way disposed. To be honest, the right way disposed. That way inclined. Inclined. What would you do? Yeah, it can't run, man. It would you bounce? Yeah, man, one hundred percent. Even if you've been together for years, it's if if they can't sort it out, then because it, it don't make sense. It's, it's you can't obviously you can't say something, but it's for me. It's 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 contrary to what yeah. you. Yeah, our like not our, but it's no. contrary to uh, to your views. Yeah, like my beliefs and why, like why do you need to do that? Yeah okay so just a comment on the uh, vacation it says Ugo says silly girl so vacation now means he has to pay for everything exactly that's exactly what I say I don't believe that you women need to stop like looking for men that are gonna like fund your lifestyle and start looking for life partners because yeah, they are two different things like mm-hmm. and some men can fund your lifestyle but they aren't life partners okay final video Hey girl, I loved your latest video with your mum. You guys are so cute. Here's my dilemma. Thank you. Um, my boyfriend and I went on a break for... We just took on this um. break. On a break for two months. I initiated it as I felt quite overwhelmed and I'm making a lot of life decisions, so I needed space. We got back together over the Christmas period and everything was better than before. And obviously, we really missed each other. We, we were talking a few weeks ago and I found out during our break that he slept with someone. 
Honestly, I don't know what to do. I've been off ever since and he keeps asking what's wrong and I don't know how to tell him. Honestly, I just don't think I can trust him anymore. Am I overreacting? What's your response? So what, during the break? He slept with someone else. Yeah, but the break thing, see the break thing? That's what the break thing invites. That's why the break thing, the break thing is very dangerous. You find a lot of people, once they hear break, something else tingles in their mind and, yeah. and it invites a different energy. Like the break thing is a no-no, no-no. So she should either uh, move past the fact he cheated or break up with him. But did he cheat? Okay, here's my thing when it comes to breaks. But you know what? I'm going to play devil's advocate here. If you're going to break with someone, I do think that means that... I, th I don't think breaks are make sense, number one. I think breaks are stupid. Like, whatever rela issues you're going through in your relationship, you guys should figure it out. Like, that's the point of a partnership and a relationship. If you choose to go on a break, to me, that's a prelude to a breakup. But with like breaks and stuff like that i would think if i went on a break with someone who i really loved i would spend that time thinking about okay cool how can we fix this what do i want to do differently when we do get back together it wouldn't really be jumping into like bed with someone else so i do think like if i went on a break with someone because i really felt like maybe life was getting at me and i just needed some space but i still love that person mm. and i found out that cool in that break period they had slept with someone else i'd be thinking okay am i at the forefront of your mind or are you trying to be out there in these streets basically yeah, yeah, yeah. so it is very telling i'm not gonna lie it does say a lot but at the same time i think the question isn't like did he cheat it's more where do his priorities lay like does he really want to be here um i genuinely think breaks are stupid yeah. if you're going to go on them though you should lay out the ground rules so you could yeah, be like okay no. cool like don't sleep with anyone else don't do this don't do that kind of thing even though i think they're stupid i do think that should be at the forefront but i personally think like we said this guy didn't cheat on you um if you feel like you can't get over it and you feel like you can't trust him the only thing to do is break up don't long this out and see like if things improve and see this or see that like if you really really do think like this was a huge breach of trust then probably break up but have a conversation with him as well yeah, find out what was going on in his mind because him telling you is also like good it means he's honest find out like what was going on in his head when he cheered was he just drunk mm. um was it just a moment of weakness like find out all of those kind of things Where and then it? make a decision but um yeah, I don't know. I just think don't go and break, guys. Yeah, like you you're not some. kids. Like figure it out. You're grown. Like life is gonna throw you a lot more curveballs, and if you can't figure it out now, you're not gonna be able to figure it out then. So yeah. stop these stupid breaks. Yeah, man. That was the conclusion of our questions for today. It wasn't that yeah. bad, you see? Yeah, yeah, that was fun. <laughs> you have some great answers, as well, man. Uh huh? You have some great answers. Man. Yeah, you too. Um, so guys. Tell the people how they can find you, like where they can locate you, where they can listen to your music, all of that good stuff. Yeah, Instagram is Nathaniel, N-A-T-H-A-N-I-E-L, underscore, Shalom. Mm -hmm. um, Instagram, Twitter is Nathaniel, underscore, Shalom. I couldn't get the M, there wasn't enough. Um, Space. Yeah, there weren't enough um, <laughs> letters I could do. YouTube, I'm on YouTube, so Nathaniel Shalom on YouTube. Um, I've got a video out on Graham Daily. Okay. I've got another one coming out on Tuesday. Um, let's wake up in the morning. So, yeah, I'm just active now. We watched one of the videos on the way here, actually. Oh, thank you. Yeah, what was this? Do you remember the song? It was the most recent one. The most recent yeah, one. Yeah, that's the first one. Yeah. yeah, Dare Granddad. Perfect. Is that all your family members? Your yeah, family yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, wow. You don't call out me to be in the video. Uh -huh. uh, listen, every artist that comes here, I've told them I'm going to be in the next video. Yeah, next one, definitely. So shout me. Yeah, why not? Cool. Yeah, man. Um, I'll rap as well, I rap. What? You watch one of my videos, there's a video where I rap. Yeah? On, the, on the Instagram? No, on e YouTube. my YouTube, yeah. Okay, yeah I had Dotty in here. Okay. And then I rapped and he was like, yeah, like, you're sick. Oh. He, didn't, he didn't say that. <laughs> I'm going to go check it out. Check, I can rap on one of your tracks. Yeah, man, why not? Yeah, hella bars. Why not? Yes. Uh, why not? Let's do it, man. Okay, so uh, just quick responses to the agony art question. Sarah says, I think risks are breaky. Um, 100%. Like, don't, guys, like, let that be my parting, like, piece of advice to you. Don't go, on, only go on breaks if you feel like, cool, like, the 
relationship has reached this and if you're going to go on break set out the ground rules as well so each person knows what they're doing um but i just think we are we are grown adults at this stage i'm gonna be 25 like my ovaries aren't getting any younger like <laughs> literally like they have to be fat like soon or like they're gonna like do you know what i mean like i'm too old to be doing so breaks no more no more games like, no serious, more games bro. highlight me only if you're serious oh, like man. honestly tell that to all your homeboys cousins <laughs> uncles as well i like all the so uncles only serious um so literally stop with the breaks like we're way too old for you guys to be going on breaks and doing this and doing that if you're serious be serious if you're not bounce um but guys this is the end of the show i'm gonna leave you guys with some good music make sure you follow me on instagram it's forens f-o-u-r-e-n-s two underscores follow me on twitter f-o-u-r-e-n-s one underscore and follow my youtube which is f-o-u-r-e-n-s forens um loads of good videos on there i had one with my mum recently all of her friends were calling to congratulate her about how oh you're so good on camera excuse me it's my youtube channel i'm the star she was just the guest so it should be about me but yeah uh, that was a good <laughs> good video i absolutely love filming with her she's really funny um so follow me on there loads of really really good videos and also guys stay posted because i'm releasing some valentine's day information really soon so get yourselves ready it's gonna be a good one okay i'm gonna leave you guys with some music have an amazing day